Then uh, I promised I would take a picture of our living room when it was more or less done. And now I can do it with a moving camera. It's Christmas, or a few days after. So the Christmas tree occupies the bay. Where an armchair would normally be. Let's go around the room. It's not all that big. But we'll make it as look as big as we can, shall we? Sofa with the famous picture over it. That picture's due to be replaced by the new Peter Kitchell prints when they've been framed. And then this one will go down in the study over my desk. It's a nice comfortable sofa. Bought from Habitat some years back. The thing in the corner is not a real plant, of course. It's made of plastic or nylon or silk or something. And uh, the two lamps either side of the sofa are eBay purchases made by Graham and frames made by him when just before we left Lincolnshire. The armchair is not a precise match. It's a very comfortable one. It normally has um, a footstool with it. The coffee table is... Um, two pieces. The base was made for us by a master carpenter when we lived in Wales years ago. And the top is an ancient oak table. You can put the two together as a nice coffee table. It's very, very good. If you walk into it, however, you find out that it's completely solid and immovable and will leave an indelible mark on your shins. Ah, uh, where are we? Yes, we're coming round the room. There's no wall, no picture on that wall yet, although Graham is at this moment putting pictures up everywhere. Doorway onto the upper, onto the middle landing. And then the, sta the storage unit that we bought in Ikea a couple of trips ago, which Graham has now assembled and has is being currently populated with books and pots and things and is beginning to look rather pleasant. Let's see if there's anything interesting on it, shall we? That's a pool vase. That's a pot by a guy called Julian King Salter and a makes pots with quite a collection of his work. Two antique Victorian things with books and stuff. A collection of little objects. The plate, interestingly, came from California when the last time I was there. Uh, another ceramic that we bought in Rye in Sussex many years back now. Perfectly ordinary pot. A collection of bits, including a little Christmas tree that I insist on having out every year. Um, the uh, quad hi-fi system is relatively new to us, although it's second-hand, of course. It's not working at the moment. The uh, control unit is a way to a quad to be repaired. More pool, a little pussy cat, and stuff. And this is my painting on the wall, and I will showcase that. There's one that I made when I lived in London all oh, years back now. Um, 1967 is the date on it. It's quite a, quite a piece. I don't paint like that anymore. That was, perhaps I ought. Who knows? Um, TV, of course, and the TV cabinet is one that Graham made when we lived in Somerset before. He made it out of scrap wood, believe it or not. Seen the same piece at over 600 quid. It cost him, I think he said, seven pound fifty. Uh, windows and blinds. The curtains are there for decorative effect only. They do draw, but we don't draw them. And that is our living room. It's quite a nice room, actually. It's back out. There's no Her Majesty present in the room, but... Uh, oh, I must show you one thing, of course. Uh, that's Dolly's Christmas present, which is a catnip. Squirrel. Somewhat bedraggled now. There. And that is our living room and the video for the day. Goodbye.